Well, to say that Aaron Judge had a monster 2017 may be an understatement. He's a finalist for the American League MVP. He's going to win the American League Rookie of the Year. And MLB The Show announced on their Twitter that the Yankee Slugger is the cover athlete for next year's edition of the game. And courtesy of PlayStation, MLB The Show, guess who's in building with us? My man, Aaron Judge, man, what's happening? Nothing much. Excited to be here. So you've been on campus for a couple of hours now, and everywhere you go, you keep seeing your highlights. We keep showing the, uh, the video game cover. It was such a tremendous year for you. Are you still absorbing the impact and the just enormity of it all? I'm trying to. Yeah, in the offseason, I'm just trying to, like, kind of relax a little bit and just soak everything in. You know, it was quite a ride we had. What a fun year. You know, I already missed my teammates, you know. Yeah. <laughs> When did you realize who Aaron Judge was in terms of the, the appeal that you have to fans? I'm not too sure. I'm just trying to be, just be me, you yeah. know, just be original. Just, you know, I, got a, I have a lot of fun playing this game. You know, it's a blessing to be able to put on the pinstripes and go out there and play this and play baseball. So you know, I just try to enjoy every moment. But walking the streets of New York, if you're even able to do that, I mean, you're not a normal person anymore, right? What is that experience like now considering if you ever thought that would even happen for you. It's, it's a little different. You know, I used to get noticed just because you were tall. I was like, hey, like, you're tall. You must do something. <laughs> right, But right. Uh, now they're just kind of saying, hey, Aaron, what's going on? But in New York, everyone's so busy. You know, this it's kind of a high and by. Like, hey, Aaron, how's it going? Good game. Right. And they just keep walking. So yeah. it's, uh, it's been pretty cool. Um, to see yourself on the front cover of that video game, though, I'm sure you played video games growing up, if you still probably play them now. Um, I mean, that's a huge achievement and not a lot of athletes reach. What does that mean to you? Oh, it means everything, you know, just getting a chance to be in a video game and now I'm on the cover, you know, with right. all the, the great athletes and studs we got in the game right now, it's, it's, it's quite an honor. Do you always play with the Yankees? Um, <laughs> I mean, you grew up in the Bay Area, I mean. Yeah, I was a San Francisco Giants fan growing okay. up, um, but now all I play is the pinstripes, that's, that's about it. <laughs> Let's go back to the season because it was really three parts for you because you balled out before the All-Star game, you go to the Home Run Derby, you crush that, and then there was that slump that tends to happen for every player, let alone someone who's coming off the great start that you have. But then you bounce back, especially in September going into the playoffs. When you were going through that lull, if you will, what, how did you keep the doubts out of your mind? We just got to understand, like, people go through those ups and downs. You know, right. and that's, what I, that's how I kind of took it. You know, I was going to take my lumps here and there and uh, just try to stick to the process. That's the biggest thing. You know, go back to the basics. You know, I didn't want to try to tweak too many things because... What I was doing before got me to where I was at. You know, right. it got me to that first half, that great first half. And you know, the biggest thing, too, was just kind of leaning on my teammates. Okay. You know, that's the biggest thing about baseball. It's not an individual game. It's, it's a team game, you know. And during the times that I wasn't hitting, you know, how could I impact the game on defense? How could I impact it running the bases the right way, taking the extra base? So it's just little things like that that, um, you know, I just try to keep myself busy with that until the hitting kind of comes back around. And then it's kind of back to autopilot. And it came back in September. You had 15 home runs, I believe, in the month to close out the regular season. What changed? Was it mental, physical, or just, as you said, sticking to that process? It's sticking to the process. You know, everybody goes through it. You know, everybody goes through it for maybe a couple weeks. It could be a month. And uh, the biggest thing, too, what helped me was, you know, those two weeks or three weeks or four weeks that you're struggling, that doesn't define your whole season. True. Yeah. You know, so I just try to take it one day at a time, you know, just sticking to the process and just having fun. You know, the great thing about that, the, the guys I played with, my teammates, it, they made it, made, it, made it fun going to the ballpark every day. Okay. You know, they had a lot of personality, had a lot of flair, had a lot of attitude, and it just, everybody was loose. And, um, yeah, they made my job pretty easy. You know, you've got a very cool demeanor, and I think because of that, some of the reason people have compared you to Derek Jeter, he was always cool like that. But he was also very stoic in allowing people to get to know him. We don't know much about Aaron Judge besides what we see on television. Um, is that on purpose, or is your, your natural personality just a little bit more reserved? Just a little bit more reserved. You know, I kind of grew up in a small town. Okay. Um, you no know, close circle of friends, so yeah. I, I try to keep it that way as best I can. It's kind of tough in New York, but... Um, uh, I'm just a little reserved guy, I guess. All right, well, I'm about to pry. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. All right, um, musicians. Like, you listen to a lot of Travis Scott, I think I heard, for your walk-up music. Uh, if you had to have one musician to listen to for a long period of time, who would it be? I'm, I'm a big fan of J. Cole, you know. Okay. Uh, he'd probably be the guy I'd be listening to. One movie that comes on and you watch it every single time, no matter how many times you've seen it. <sighs> I think Remember the Titans, when that comes on, it's, I, I gotta watch, I gotta, well, I know every single part, I'm, I'm, Do you, I'm ready? <laughs> reminiscing the lines, it's great. Now, you were a football player growing up, but you also played baseball. 
Um, excuse me, basketball I meant to say. Three sports star. Why did you choose baseball? Because there were you had power five conferences trying to get you to play football too. Yeah, you know, I just fell in love with um, the game within the game with mm. baseball. You know, a little chess match between the pitcher and the batter. You know, the little things in the game that just really intrigued me at a young age, you know, and it, it caught my heart and I just kind of stuck with it. What's the best feeling? Hitting a home run, scoring a touchdown, or dunking on somebody? Ooh. Um, it's got to be hitting a home run. Yeah? Yeah, it's got to be hitting a home run. Just hearing the crowd go crazy. Uh, getting a chance to kind of run around the bases a little bit and then celebrating with their teammates after. It's, there's nothing like it, especially at Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Big plans for the offseason. Vacation in somewhere, getting away, just kind of relaxing. Yeah, just a little downtime, a little vacation here with the family. And then before you know it, it's all going to start up again. That's <laughs> it does crazy start thing. very quickly. Aaron, appreciate the time. Uh, congratulations. Good luck in the MVP. We already gave you the Rookie of the Year Award, so that's a, that's a lock. You good? Oh, yeah. All right, man. Aaron Judge, appreciate it, man. Thank all you. All right. See you soon. Well, coming up